Hello nerds, today is July the 5th and that means it's time for the 186th game with the Meditation Games. And today's game's made by, wish me luck, Johans Gunnar Thornstenson? Yeah, probably not. <laughs> I gave it my best go. He's left a very short blurb for us which um, I will fail to read out for you now. <laughs> it's, it's in Icelandic, I, I really don't know what that says. But I do have some context as to what it's about. I know it is about his daughter who is celebrating her first birthday today. So, happy birthday to, to well, not, not to you, but to her. She's not watching this. <laughs> also, the controls are WASD to move, I guess. I don't know. I'd... <laughs> Let's give it a go. So, this is the next day because I filmed the video a bit late at night. And when I went to edit it, it didn't actually record the um the gameplay bit because of course it didn't and when i reboot the thing to have another go it switched to the next meditation so <laughs> fuck i put a tweet out bitchy about it and uh <laughs> thankfully the uh creator gave me a link to download the actual game uh, an external link to download the game so i'm able to play it and record it Thank God. So, uh, I'm a bit gutted if I couldn't get that done, so there we go. Uh, it does mean you don't get to see me trying to figure out what the fuck was going on, and I can actually just talk about what I know is going on, which isn't a whole lot, but I think I've got a general idea of how the game works, so uh, we'll fade to black, and then we will uh, boot the game up, because that's the only way I can record the fucking thing. I hate my capture Alright, so here's the game. Uh, let me just adjust my mic. So I control this little square here. And as I move around, as you can see, this tiny little triangle follows me. Uh, you'll also notice that there's like smiley faces that keep sort of popping up randomly. And as you'll see in a second, you also sometimes see orange things pinging up. Uh, inside the square that I control, and inside the triangle, um, the shape is slowly filled up with orange. Um, I can remove my orange by <laughs> by moving into these orange squares. Uh, orange squares reduce the thing, and all is well. And if we go back to the purple triangle, you can see that it's filled up quite a bit with orange. But as I stay near it, that slowly depletes, and that's what all these little orange pings are. So now that the little happy faces are popping up, that means uh, all of the orange is gone. Uh, but as you can see, over time, mine fills up regardless of how close I am to the purple triangle. So what's so bad about being orange, you may be wondering? Well, I'll show you. Uh, when mine fills, which is not long from now, I move really, really, really slowly until I pick these up. But what happens if I let my triangle fill up with orange. Well, I will show you, because that's nearly happened, the triangle stops dead. And it will not move until I come back and help take away that orange. So, uh, as the triangle moves, it leaves footprints in its wake. Uh, the different coloured footprints indicate how much orange was in them, I guess. Uh, and uh, you may have noticed, but the triangle is slowly growing whereas the inside of my square is slowly uh, getting whiter and whiter and whiter so the sort of colored part of my square is slowly shrinking um i know from um the context of a tweet because i couldn't read the blurb because it was in icelandic uh, <laughs> but from the context of a tweet that he put up this game is about parenting and as such i think I have an idea as to what the game's about, and here it is. So, the triangle is uh, the creator's daughter. Um, so, we're just saying, that's, that's, uh, that's a child that I'm looking after. It's my, my little baby triangle. And I am mummy or daddy square. And um, I have to help the child keep that orange at bay whilst keeping mine at bay as well which means i have to run away from the child to pick these up and i think this is relating to uh the difficulty of balancing um your sort of work life or external um pressures so what's, what's the word i'm looking for um balancing what you've got to do to survive and what you've got to do to 
provide a decent upbringing for your child so that you can stop your child from uh, stopping in its tracks, from stunting their development, from uh, to keep them as free from this orange stuff as possible. So I think it's about juggling that responsibility. Um, and as the, the triangle grows, that's the child getting bigger. But as you can see, because the inside of my square is shrinking, or, well, no, it's expanding, actually, that's the problem, but my, uh, my square itself is slowly um, sort of decreasing. I think that's a passage of time. My triangle is growing up, and I'm getting old. I'm going to vanish one day. And that's quite upsetting, actually. That's quite, that's quite, uh, that's quite harrowing. So, yeah, I get the impression that it's, um, Johan perhaps being quite reflective of the idea that he's not, he's, he has to be there to look after his child, but he's not always going to be there. And that's probably a really, uh, for me, it's an uncomfortable feeling because the triangle doesn't stop being dependent upon me at any point. I just simply will stop being there. And what does that mean for my, my little, my triangle, for my child? So, at the end, the camera zooms out, and we see how far of a journey that we've gone on with this child. So, yeah, I think it's quite a interesting and introspective game. It's really interesting. So, yeah, that game actually took me a while to figure out. Um, I had a rough idea of what it was about, like, it was about parenthood, but nothing else I really guessed. Um, from the first few times of playing it. My initial recordings, like I said, didn't actually record the gameplay footage. I'm a bit gutted I can't use them because it's me kind of piecing together what everything does, how it all interacts, and how it all relates to this general narrative, this general idea. But yeah, it sort of came down to this idea, like I said in that gameplay bit, of looking after your child, um, providing for them and having to uh, balance how tricky it is to be there for your child, but all your other obligations and general other things. So it could be your job, uh, your desire to still enjoy life, and all that kind of thing. And your child is kind of with you for the rest of your days once you've had one. They don't typically disappear. It's hit a sore spot for me. Um, slight story time, I suppose. I am just, I'm in my 30s. And I'm still worryingly dependent <laughs> on my parents. They've helped me a huge amount financially recently because I've been unemployed for fucking years. So they've helped me out far too many times in staying in a flat, staying fed, all that kind of stuff. If it wasn't for them, I dread to think what situation I'd be in now. I don't have a clue. Not a good thing to think about. And even recently, I was having huge concerns about... Uh, I finally got a job. <laughs> uh, but I was having huge concerns about being able to get it. And I knew the reality. Friends knew the reality and told me. But for whatever reason, hearing that from my mum, the exact same thing I'd been saying to myself and the friends had been telling me, was all the more reassuring. I didn't calm down until I heard it from her. The idea of not having that one day is terrifying, actually. I'm not a parent myself. I am, however, an uncle, and that's that's really nice. A lot of me does wonder about how the kids are going to grow up and all that kind of stuff. But I've never had my own little triangle. <laughs> uh, but my parents are that square. They're the ones who have been guiding me, the ones who have been, you know, having to juggle responsibility with care. And likewise, they have both been those little triangles. They've been the ones who've had to be look after, looked after. Uh, but I bring up my mum in particular uh, for this because she's the one that's most closely going through what I interpreted from that game. Both my dad's parents are still alive. And mostly well, you know, but, uh, <laughs> my mum's dad passed away, how many years ago now? I can't even remember, 15 maybe, 15 years old? Perhaps more, I can't, it's been so long, I can't remember, and her mum is definitely not on the good end of the mortal coil, uh, I mean, she's been incredibly ill, she's showing signs of improving, but we, we don't know how long she's got left, really. It's getting to that point in my mum's life where... The things that guided her, the squares that guided her, aren't going to be there anymore. And I don't know for certain, um, but from my perspective, the dad always seemed to be sort of the guiding light, the one that she turned to when she wanted to be comforted or to see the reason in something or whatever. You know, that, that, that was her dad. That was her dad's role. And um, she's been a long time without that. And in that time, she's really stood up 
to that. She's been there for me. She's been there for so many people, uh, even ones who have really wronged us uh, as a family. You know, she's been there through unbelievable thick and thin. I just wonder if you're ever ready for that, or if it's just something that you learn when it happens. I don't know, but yeah, that's playing my mind quite a bit. But I guess that really hasn't got anything to do with the game now, has it? So, <laughs> Jesus Christ. That was a tangent. But yeah, um, I guess that pretty well summarises how I've interpreted the game. I could be wrong, like I said. I mean, I don't know what the blurb actually said. But judging just from what I've been able to piece together and what I've been able to... Uh, what I took away from the game and what I interpreted from it. Uh, it evidently gave me a lot to think about. So... Yeah, well done on that. <laughs> As for the creator, Johans, I think that's how you pronounce his name, I'm, I'm not certain. I'll leave a link below to his Twitter and to his portfolio site, which has got links to all the various things that he does. Uh, he also runs some game jams, and I've actually heard of Isolation Jam. I'm not sure where the hell I've heard of it from, but I have heard of it, so it's kind of cool to see that you're the guy behind that. So, yeah, well done on that. I haven't found an itch.io or anything of the sort, so I don't know if it's like a, a good repository to play all of his games, but, yeah, well, either way, uh, whatever I can find, I will leave below. Feel free to have a look through, check out some of his stuff. So with that, I want to say a huge thank you to Johans, not just for making this meditation, but also for giving me access to the standalone file so I could actually get a proper recording of this and talk about the game, because obviously I had technical faults and he was incredibly supportive, so uh, genuinely a huge thank you for that. And also for the game itself, because, well, at least from my interpretation of it, it gave me a hell of a lot to think about. It was generally a uh, uh, really well made and very well delivered experience. I assume I got it right. So, again, good job on that. Also, all this talk of parents and all the help that you get being a kid and all that kind of stuff. Huge thank you to my mum, who uh, I know is watching this because she watches all my videos. So, <laughs> she's incredibly sweet of her. So, thank you for that. Love you lots. And also, thank you for watching. I'll see you again tomorrow. Take care.